this is going to be officially my last hunt of September. Tomorrow is October 1st, and as a bow hunter, October is a great month to look forward to. And hopefully that means that these heat waves that have been hitting will start to dissipate and we'll start getting a lot more cold fronts. It is almost 80 degrees today. We had a little bit of a cold spell last week where we were getting lows and low 50s and highs in the mid 60s, but for whatever reason, it went back to southeast winds and hot. That's exactly what I'm hunting today. So with this southeast wind, I'm actually working my way all the way to the north side to cut all the way west to come all the way back to the south. And the plan is to loop way around this bedding area. There's a bunch of ag to the south, there's a marsh to the north, marsh to the west, and there's like a little pine triangle almost it makes. And I was in there earlier this year scouting with my buddy Vince in the summer and we actually kicked some deer up there, found some history rubs and a couple little highways of deer coming out of those marshes. But I'm hoping that with this southeast wind, it'll push my scent to the north and into that marsh. And there's almost like the way that Pine Ridge sets up, it's a, it almost bottlenecks these deer. So I'm gonna hopefully hunt that bottleneck and hopefully get some deer passing through. I do have doe tags for this county. I still have my buck tag. So hopefully I can have something come by and shoot in distance and be able to put a good shot on something. But I've never hunted this property before. So the good part is I'm gonna be hunting on the tree line. So I'll be able to overlook probably a, at least 400 500 yards of fields with just kind of all this thick brush Hopefully be able to catch something coming out of bed and working their war towards uh, Towards some egg fields, but there is a pond just to my north And then it looks like on the map. There's a pond a little bit in the woods that I'll be sitting on so Not really sure exactly where these deer are gonna be coming from, but hopefully I can lay my eyes on something tonight So I just wanted to find super fresh sign, a bunch of crossroads, and hope to be able to catch some deer up on their feet. You know, maybe even get lucky enough to put an arrow in one. Once I got through this big brush line, it opens up in here real nice. And you can actually see probably 80 yards, but there's a, just, just a boatload of trails that coming in here. There's not really, there's not really a designated travel route I can, that I can see at least. I mean, there's trails just going every which way and my wind is blowing back into the woods a little bit, but the biggest trails that are run down are running east and west and a little bit coming from the north. I'm not exactly sure where these deer are going to show up and even if there are deer that are going to show up but based on the sign there's definitely a lot of deer moving through this area so I'm excited to see what shows up. 
you know, hunt areas that you haven't been into a whole lot or, you know, hunting the, the public areas. And I'm not really one to run a whole bunch of trail cameras or anything like that. I don't have fancy cell cams or nothing. And it kind of takes the fun away. For me personally, it's a completely opinionated, but it, you know, it could be a spike that shows up, there could be a mega that shows up, it could be a hundred does, it could be nothing. And the surprise, and I guess the, the not knowing, is what kind of keeps me going. But I'm excited to see what's in here, and this is a big chunk of property too, so I'm only just scraping the tip of the iceberg here on it, so I'm excited to see what comes through. And, Hopefully be able to get some deer on through. Maybe even get lucky enough to put an arrow on one. Well, the clock just rolled over to six. And I haven't seen any deer yet, but we're finally getting into that prime time. The day winds are starting to calm down a little bit. We're still getting a little bit of gusts here and there, but the consistent wind is pretty much non-existent now. I'm getting pretty excited. I got a good feeling about it. You know, the more I sit here and analyze these woods, you know, there's a lot of deer sign moving through here a lot more trails that I've been finding just sitting here glassing and trying to look around but I'm hoping that this last hour or so get some deer up on their feet and hopefully be able to put an arrow on one. Redemption at its finest right there. I just dropped that video tonight from where I shot that doe on a different piece of public and I wasn't able to recover her because one of the hunt clubs that's out that way, she ended up running on there and they wouldn't give me permission to keep track. And, but this is a big piece of public and I'm pretty sure she crashed probably I think only probably 50, 60 yards, maybe 70 from where I shot her. She came in with two older does, or uh, two older fawns it looked like, which is really surprising because my wind's been blowing that direction the whole time. That's the last spot that I thought they'd chill up from. But I've been ranging constantly throughout my hunt, just marking different trees she was probably 21, 22 yards. I ranged a tree right next to where she was and I think she was roughly within a yard or two of that. But with my arrow set up, that's not that much of a, a variation. But I took my time 
I think I made a great shot on her. I think I saw blood right at impact. And I'm pretty sure I heard her crash, so. Oh man, I'm fired up. Me and Vince had that doe last night. I think she got to like three yards, but I didn't have a doe tag for that county. And uh, he kind of forgot he had one until afterwards. But I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give him a call. See if I can uh, get someone out here to come help me get her out of these woods, but oh, I'm fired up, man. Let's go. Probably an hour after the shot, I had my uh, good buddy Dylan come out, help me uh, hold a light. I told him he don't gotta gut it or nothing like that. I ain't gonna be that mean, but we just took up the trail here and we got really good blood. I'm feeling really confident about it and I'm, I'm almost positive I heard her go down. It sure sounded like it, but we're gonna just kinda take our time moving slow just in case. I haven't found my arrow yet. I don't think I got a pass through, or if I did, I just didn't see the arrow, but we got these Luminox on. I'm pretty sure that one's green, but we got really good blood, so we're gonna just keep following it and hopefully we can find the gold at the end of the rainbow. There's blood here. She's bleeding good. Blood up here. And wrap his head around. Yeah, your arrow's gone. Maybe I did get I had to get a pass through. I just never found it. On the board, baby. After uh I gotta turn that light down so I ain't blinding myself. But after, you know, whatever that was a couple days ago, that fiasco of uh, not being able to recover that doe, I'm uh, very ecstatic about that. There she is, laying in all her glory. So it looks like I did get a pass through. I might have just not even seen my arrow. I mean, where she was standing, there was a bunch of tall grass around her. I mean, I wasn't looking super hard for my arrow. I was really trying to find blood, but I mean, we didn't find it down that whole trail and she probably ran all, what, 50 yards, if that. Luckily, she did a big loop and ran back towards the truck, so that's good, but we found her, we got her on the board. I'm gonna uh, get her field dressed here and then, uh, Put her on the shoulders and carry this thing out of here. It's only about half mile in, so this is probably one of my uh, smaller distances that I travel into some of these properties. But early season, I get away with not traveling in as far. But I'm thrilled. I'm gonna get her uh, field dressed and we're gonna get this thing out of here. Whoa. Where right. in my future. Well, we finally made it back to the Jeep, and it's only 9.03. Eh, not too bad, like I said, it was only a half mile. Really wasn't too bad, but finally get to uh, use that rack. It beats uh, trying to drag that thing back up on top like we did last year. Uh, but I want to thank my buddy Dylan for coming out. He uh, I'll bring some lights and help me track this thing. But I'm uh, I'm beat, I'm tired, I'm ready for bed. But I'm gonna drop this thing off at the processor because I got work at 5.30 in the morning. So I still got probably an hour and a half, two hours worth of work yet. Run to a processor, drop this thing off, then run home, shower, and try to hit the bed. But it's been a, a great start to the season. You know, first deer down, been seeing a decent amount of deer saw two of the biggest bucks that I've ever seen while hunting. Uh, one of them I didn't get on film. One of them was in North Dakota. And then me and Vince are back after a couple other bucks that we've been finding on some properties that we've been scouting together. But I think this is gonna do it because I gotta get going. Like I said, I'm tired, but I greatly appreciate you guys watching. 
hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. There'll be more coming, goose hunts, duck hunts, deer hunts. I'm getting excited now that I got my confidence a little bit higher. I'm, uh, I'm excited to get back out there and start chasing something with antlers on its head, but we'll see you guys on the next one.